Huey, love for the people. Dr. Huey P. Newton, the founder of the Black Panther Party in Oakland, California, began the organization along with Bobby Seale as a body focused on the people, on their defense, and also in their service. In most media portrayals of the time, black radicals were always described as black militants, and if they were pictured, one saw a young man or woman with a seemingly permanent scowl on their face. Huey broke through this media mold by beginning early with the party's own media. A newsletter made on a mimeograph machine with a picture of a young black man killed by cops in Richmond, California. I have to ask, does anybody in this audience know what a mimeograph machine even is? If you do, I bet you're over 50. What was the point, though? That the people were important not the party. For party members were taught from the first days of membership that party members were servants of the people. It is in that spirit that we saw party leaders start programs like the Free Breakfast for Children program, the Free Clothing program, Free Shoes programs, and Free Health Clinic programs and the like. Those programs based in local churches or party offices, served to develop close relationships between the people and the party in a way that has rarely been imitated by radical or revolutionary collectives. On November 18, 1970, Huey gave a speech at Boston College. There, he spoke about many of these programs that the party began, telling the audience, in order to exist, we must survive. Therefore, we need a survival kit, the 10-point program. It is necessary for our children to grow up healthy with functional and creative minds. They cannot do this if they do not get the correct nutrition. That is why we have a breakfast program for children. We also have community health programs. We have a busing program. We call it the Bus for Relatives and Parents of Prisoners. We realize that the fascist regime that operates the prisons throughout America would like to do their treachery in the dark. But if we get the relatives, parents, and friends to the prisons, they can expose the treachery of the fascists. Dr. Huey P. Newton ended his speech by telling the audience that the people make the revolution. What we see here is that the central governing ethos of the party was a survival and well-being of the people. What people? The most oppressed segment of American society. Black people. Poor people. It is from this community that the party drew its members. It is to this community that the party directed its 10-point program. It is for this community that the survival programs were implemented. Whether we use the term the community or the people, we're talking about the same entity. The Black Panther Party went through a number of ideological iterations, from nationalists to internationalists, from Malcolmites to Marxists, from Marxists to intercommunalists, and through it all, the centrality of the people as in service to the people, remained a theme of the party unlike its contemporaries. For that, for that sustained focus on service to the people, we have Dr. Huey P. Newton and Bobby G. Seal to thank. For it came early in the life of the party, during its formative first days of patrolling the cops, of feeding the children, and of opening health clinics. I thank you for your time at this convention. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.